Hey guys, welcome to another episode of F1 2021 here on the Chesnoy Place channel. E uh, hang on a minute. Why does that say Bahrain? Hey guys, welcome to F1 2021 for some more My Team Career Mode. We are having Monaco today, but you'll notice that as I've loaded up the save here on stream, that um, it, it's reset the progress to the beginning of the season. So we're at Bahrain again. So why this has happened, I've no idea. What I'm going to have to do is a respend the well I'll try and spend the money where I spent the money before and spend my resource points where I spent my resource points before I'll also do like a three lap race with the difficulty way down at Bahrain and Spain and I will endeavor to finish myself at least in the position that I finished those two Grand Prix in with regards to the rest of the standings, the rest of the World Championship and everyone else's points, there's pretty much fuck all I can do, I'm afraid. We're perhaps lucky that we were only two races into the new season. But I don't really see at this stage any other alternative. So I'm going to quickly on stream repeat race one and race two. Finish 10th in Bahrain, finish 13th in Spain, and then we can do the Monaco Grand Prix and pray to fuck that it actually saves. Make sense? Right, that's where we are. I apologise that this is the scenario we find ourselves in, but it is entirely out of my control. The game has just properly bugged and lost my progress from two different game sessions, two 100% race distance Grand Prix that we've done over... Two, two separate streams on two separate days earlier in the week. It's, it's just lost all of my progress. So uh, I shall do what I can. And in a moment, for you guys on the YouTube video, I will just cut to the Monaco Grand Prix uh, on stream. It's going to take us a little bit longer to get there, but hopefully you enjoy the episode. Do drop the video a like if you do. and Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more. Do make sure that you uh, follow me on Twitch on the link in the description so that you can watch these live. And hopefully this isn't a scenario we ever encounter again. For the sake of the YouTube video, welcome back. Uh, it's still fucked. So the scenario we find ourselves in for a variety of reasons that I'm not going to go into because I've just spent 45 minutes trying to sort this shit out. I can't avoid a fifth, fifth or sixth place finish here in Bahrain as things stand. We tried very similar things to... Lower the rating so I could replicate the results. And then we tried to skip to the race, but ended up skipping and simulating the race. And now every time I try and reload the save, it just ends the race with it being at a lower difficulty. So I can't avoid a super high finish. So, because of the pain and frustration and everything that this has caused, I'm going uh, to, and with this, after discussion with chat, we're going to take these points and then... We will just DNF in Spain. We'll DNF in Spain. In fact, I'll do what I'll do now is I'll try and do what we were trying to do in Bahrain in Spain. Being that I will lower the difficulty, change the um, session length, etc. So that I don't have to do 100% race distance race. Because I accidentally went, well not accidentally, I went to practice one at Bahrain and then realised that I couldn't change the session length from there. Which is a pain in the goddamn dick. So, um, I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm taking those points from Bahrain. I will go to Spain and try and sort out finishing 13th in Spain. Or at the very least, ensure that I don't finish in the points by retiring or something. And then I will see you in Monaco. And I'll try my best to accrue as much money as I did and as many resource points as I did. And look to spend those resource points in the same places that we did. And then I will see you in Monaco. This is why edited highlights on YouTube sometimes are the best option because you manage to avoid an entire hour of me just basically shouting at a console and a television screen. Uh, right, you get to have a skip and an edit now. I'm going to go and cause myself some more pain. BRB. Going to get bugger all resource point wise from Monaco. And we're going to have to try and pull something out of the bag in qualifying like we did last year. How does a car handle in the wet? In the wet, uh, I'll just say the team's created a great. You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Uh, I'll just say I'm not sure what happened. Appreciate your time. 
That was a yikes, wasn't it? Alright, we'll skip P3. We'll skip P3. And go straight to a qualification. Yeah, bugger all. Bugger all resource points. Robert got more than me. Yay, we can do so much with 500. Not. Those of you that might be new, or don't watch me very often, I am better than this. Everywhere else, I promise. We're not lost! We're P19! Go on, Lando. Yay, P19! Woo! Fucking love Monaco! Ah, oh, never mind. Out the fucking cheese. Flashback city, you're not wrong. We are in, in a city, I guess. Robert got P13. Go on, Sunshine. He's through to Q2. Oh, I was last in the end. Woo! Love Monaco. <laughs> Thanks for follow, Bubs. I'm really bad at Monaco as well, as you can evidently see. Soft tyres versus everyone else on hards. Oh, I'm going to have to get out of the throttle because Mazepin just pulled across in front of me. Which he's definitely right to do, of course. And I've got a car right there. So I've got to give him room. And he's going to get my inside line. No, he's not. I'm going to have the inside here for this one. It's Mick Schumacher. We're past Mick. Sorry, I'm video gaming it. My only hope is that when we switch to those mediums early that I'm fast enough to have the strategy play in my favour and that we can clo still close on those on wearing hards on whilst we're on fresh mediums and get track position. Track position is the aim for wherever we are, wherever we are in the race, track position is the aim. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second close of the ahead. Not close enough. DRS now we are out of DRS range of those behind us, which, provided that gap continues to grow, is great for our strategy. It is great for our strategy that those behind are starting to fall behind. And that would be great if Giovinazzi could fall more than a second behind George Russell, which he's not far away from being right now. Which would make him vulnerable into turn one, into Sandovot. This is what we're hoping to do to others. Right, I might be close enough behind you here to have a go into this into this chicane. If I didn't lose all downforce in the tunnel for being right behind Giovinazzi. I see you know what I won't flash back, I'll just give the place back. If you'll overtake me. Because that's what would happen in real life there. I fucked up. I'll give him the place back. Well, I'm close enough to try again. So I will try again. And we've made it stick. We're past Geo. Nice work. That brings you up a place. I enjoyed that. That was a nice move. That might be thumbnail worthy. Position made, thumbnail made. Chase Russell. Close gap. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. This will be a this will be a deciding factor in what we can expect in our second stint compared to them on the hards. If we can close this gap to George, then maybe we stand a chance of closing the gap. The when we're on the medium. If we can't seconds. close the gap to George, then on the mediums, then we really do definitely don't stand a chance. But it looks like we are able to close the gap on these softs. So going softer than the other drivers could hopefully work in our favour, provided we can hold track position at the end of the race. One and a half to George now. We've still got 15 laps or so until we want to pit. So if I can make it a little bit more progress up through the field in those 15 laps, 
That would be fantastic. I don't know as I'm going to, though, with my soft tyres going off. But we are closing to within a second of George. Then there's a much bigger gap to Kimi. A much, bi much bigger gap to Kimi in the next gaggle. But making the advancements that we have been on these soft tyres is crucial to our overall strategy. Thank you, Nevsky, for gifting a subscription to the channel, mate. It's very kind of you. It's gone to Snapped. Is it Snapped? Snap happening. Thank you very much indeed, my man. I might, if I can get close enough, I might try a similar move on George to the one we did on uh, Giovinazzi. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get close enough. Probably too far back here. Yeah, I'm too far back. I'm not going to be able to make that stick. I think my best place for overtakes is going to be either down the hill here or into the chicane after the tunnel. I just have to be close enough. Through the tunnel. Thank you, George, for subscribing for the fifth month, my man. Max Verstappen out of the race. Max has retired at the end of the end of the first sector. Down here. Oh, his engine's gone. Max Verstappen's engine's gone. He'll pull off into the side road there. The infamous Michael Schumacher and Nico Rosberg side road. And he's out, but that shouldn't force any sort of safety car. I wouldn't have thought. I could try it. I could try it again. I'm a long way back, but... Hi, George. Oh, that was a lunge. That was a proper lunge from a long way back. But we got it done, and we're now ahead of George Russell. Gap ahead is 4.4 seconds. And up into P15. Now we find out if we actually can catch Kimi at all. I doubt it, but I'll try. In fact, the... the the more telling factor is the fact that the one behind to Giovinazzi is shrinking as opposed to the ones in front shrinking. Checo's in the pits already, so the front runners are starting to pit now. Those that started on the softs are starting to pit. My tyre advantage has gone, so I might, I might take the decision also to pit so that I don't end up losing so much time on everybody else. Monaco's bad enough when you've got tyres that do work, let alone tyres that are 45% worn. Stopping for a set of medium tyres then on lap 20. Thanks for the follow for Lee and Visor. Welcome to the channel, mate. Hope you're well, my man. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Oh, God, I hate Monaco. So we're now going to try and extend this set of cars. This set of cars. This set of tyres to the end of the race. Somehow. And or hope for a safety car. One of the front runners, one of the leaders, or well both Mercedes are now catching us here. They're just right behind. So we're going to get lapped momentarily. As Lewis let through. Valtteri's not far behind, I don't think. Right, we are now right up behind Latifi. As he let Lewis through. And then I've lost all my traction in the rear. Come around the last corner. And I'm not going to take him. Oh, I kind of tried to use that to my advantage and it didn't work very well. Oh, Valtteri's actually quite a way back, so that's not a problem. Excuse me. Oh, that was a lunge as well, but we got that done. Past Nicholas Latifi. Checo in P18 is about to get lapped as well. I don't know what's happened to Checo's race. He must have been in the pits forever. And Checo, in the process of letting Lewis through, has actually taken Mick Schumacher as well. He's done to Mick. Yeah, you've you told me that already, mate. Cooling may be adversely affected. It's going to be really tough to get past Robert and Mick. 
if they're in close proximity to one another, which they are. Because if I try and lunge it up the inside of Robert, anywhere, be it here or into the chicane or into turn one, I'm going to have to try and avoid running into Mick at the same time. Now Valtteri's right behind me trying to overtake. To the hairpin. Got it done. Nice clean move into the hairpin. We're past Robert. P19. Like you say, one place at a time. Gone defensive into turn one, and we've gotten around the outside of him at Sandovox. We're up to P18. These are some of the cleanest and best overtakes I think I've ever put in around Monaco on any F1 game ever. That was a really nice move. Up to P18. Let's get after Mazepin. A safety car about laps. Oh, thank you, Mazepin. A safety cap. A safety cap. A safety car about lap 60 would be a dream. A safety car about lap 60 would be a dream. Kimi's coming out the pits. We've taken Kimi Raikkonen. Our uh, undercut has worked on Kimi. He started on hards as well. These hard tyres have only done 30, 32 laps. Are they are they two stopping? Are they going? Surely they're two stopping. He's not now going to try and take a medium set further than his previous hard set. That doesn't make any sense. Surely they're now two stopping. I only have a set of used softs or new mediums and hards left now. So if there is a safety car and I want to switch to softs. They will be a used set. Kimi's basically going to follow us everywhere now. That's Yuki in the pits, but now out of the pits. Gap to teammate behind is 4.5 seconds. So the undercut got us in front of Kimi and halved the gap to Yuki. But Sonoda is still in front of us. He is. It's Russell, Checo, Yuki. So Russell still has to pit. So we're effectively running a net 14th. George Russell's doing us a massive favour by holding these guys up. George is actually doing a similar stint to what we would have expected to see. What we would have expected to see from the um, from the other drivers on the hard tyre. I don't know whether those that are... To be fair, actually, maybe those that started on the hards ran them in practice so they were slightly worn i'm not sure and george's is a fresh set it was raining in practice one wasn't it i don't know whether the rain eased i didn't check the time i can't remember checking the times and seeing what what lap time everyone put in and if they actually switched to dry tires at some point during the session so george's super long hard stint at the end of the, oh, sorry, at the beginning of the Grand Prix, it's doing us a favour. It's absolutely killing Sergio Perez's Grand Prix and Yuki Tsunoda's as well. We just can't get past him. We're now within a second, and Russell is creating a, a bit of a chain now, a bit of a DRS train. You can see from the mini map the next car down the road from Checo in P12, in P11 is. As we're coming through the tunnel, it's going through Raska. Oh my God! It's going through Raskas at the end of the at the end of the lap. Engine off. So there is a giant gap between P11 and P12. These tyres have now done 30 laps. I'm going to pit this lap. I'm going to pit this lap for another set of mediums. We're going to have to switch to a two-stop because the tyre wear. It's okay. I expect a handful of the others to also be pitting. Though a lot of those that started on hard. 
switched to uh, mediums a lot earlier than we thought they would do. Thank you, Zoom, for gifting us up. It's gone to uh, retails. Yep. So we'll lose pl we'll lose a couple of places here, but look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. I expect a number of those in front of us to also pit again. Because look, Latifi's pit again. Latifi's pit again. In fact, Latifi's pit three times. I expect everybody in front of us, everybody in front of us that has um, only the one hard to medium stop, I expect them all to stop again. I don't think West Ham has scored a fourth. I don't think they'll be able to take that set of mediums all the way to the end. Because they pit ages ago on a set... Uh, Russell's not the example. They pit ages ago on a set... Their first set of hards, they managed 30 laps. They're not then going to go and do 50 laps or close to on a set of mediums. They absolutely are going to pit again. It's a good finish from Antonio. Really good finish. Newcastle are in for a tough year. Newcastle are in for a really tough year. All right, so we have a fresh set of mediums on then. Now I'm going to try and undercut as best I can those that are ahead of us. It will be more for time than anything else. But I hope to stay ahead of uh, Giovinazzi by doing this in the long run. I hope to stay ahead of Giovinazzi. If those in front are able to go to the end on the tyres they've got on, then they are monsters. But I can ask about those in front, can't I? Robert is ahead of you. The gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. The time last lap was a 1 minute 12.7. Are they genuinely not stopping again? How are they doing that? So according to Jeff... According to Jeff, these guys aren't stopping again. So they're going to have done 30 odd laps on their hards and then nearly 50 laps on their mediums. So I've got to somehow try and find a way past these two. On track. We've done it once. But whether I can do it again is completely different. Robert might take Mick here. Robert has taken Mick. That's what I wanted to do. Robert will disappear now. Because he's his car is so much faster than the Haas. Half a second. I believe this is our last lap. I believe this is our last lap. Yep, Lewis has just won the Grand Prix. It definitely is our last lap. And our last opportunity to try and overtake Mick Schumacher and get P18. Which is quite important for the uh, for the prediction, isn't it? Because we said P18 or higher. So some of you will be wishing that I can zip past out the other side of the tunnel. And some of you are desperate that I don't. And I don't think I'm close enough. I'm not. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's going to be a P19. Try as we might to get past Mick. It's just not going to happen. <sighs> it's just not going to happen. If it weren't for tyre wear, if it weren't for tyre wear, we could probably finish P14 or P13. Probably P14. But I had to make an extra pit stop for the tyres. I had to make an extra pit stop for the tyres, which took things completely out of my hands, unfortunately. And then we just didn't have enough to get past. That's Monaco. 
Let's have a look then at the driver's That's probably, stand. though, it's a great result some of the, the best Hamilton, overtaking throughout the course of the early ahead, race. Of some the of the... Table. Let's focus on the driver. Some of the best overtaking Actually, I've ever Davidson, put in around Monaco. Callum Eilot gets my vote today. Let's move on to the constructors. Eleven to P5 for Callum Eilot. Meanwhile, Alpine move up the table with another we strong performance this We started 21st, well, qualified 22nd, so started 21st, first, finished 19th. everyone who joined us, and we'll see you the for the next. Fastest lap one. was well off. A number of others though. One ten three. Jesus Christ. His race, the race fastest lap was nearly as quick as my qualifying time <laughs> uh yeah thankfully we level with ocon we level with ocon with the um with the rivalry now 84 percent of you said that i would finish higher than p18 16 percent of you said no so those of you that voted no you just got a massive payout but yes i fully fully expect baku to be redemption i absolutely expect us to score points in baku in the next Grand Prix, provided that the game doesn't shit on us again and reset Not our English. progress. This week's income from the sponsors right. is clear. Right, G-force training, we're yes. Good profit against our running um, costs. Do that for the resource points. Do that for that, and that will be us for there. We've got 800, 800 resource points, which I'm not really going to be able to spend anywhere. I'll save them in case anything fails in the week leading up to the next uh, thing so facility wise i am going to up resource point generation that's six million there so that's going to go straight on that we've spent everything now there we'll the go to this department has requested your input on this one yeah second the driver racecraft will thanks for up that out. as well and we'll advance time towards the azerbaijan grand prix the rear downforce has worked the fuel economy has worked Durability the upgrade is done. Another personnel department. They'll be on the um, car, ready for the next race weekend. It looks simulated like time or gym? Simulated time, I think, for I think Robert. Up his race craft again a little bit. But I think you made the right call. Advancing further forward. Running costs come out, but we get some more general wares gone up. Chassis upgrade, please pass. That, or no, that was the, the uh, facility upgrade, wasn't it? So that's done. Now we've got 1,200 resource points. I can't spend them there i'm nine short of doing the weight redistribution nine i can do the cockpit weight reduction though i can do the cockpit weight reduction which i think i'm going to do oh supplier upgrade has arrived as well nice turbo size so we should be better in a straight line now as well it's just the valve timing that is next right okay so let's do the weight reduction then Let's do the cockpit weight reduction. 20% chance of failure, so that should be done after the Canadian Grand Prix. So we have the fourth best aero, the fourth best chassis, the fourth best powertrain, and the fourth best durability, I believe, anyway. Or is that the overall? That might just be the overall. Let's go in and have a look. Uh, I can't see, actually, anywhere, can I? Okay, so third, yeah, fourth best... Aero, fifth best chassis, second best engine, and development upgrades will be the same. Oh, we're, we have the worst. We have the worst reliability, but it's not too much worst durability. But it's not. It's not an issue for us. So we're able to take everything into the next weekend. Gearbox wise, that's absolutely fine as well. So we've not got no worries there. And it's a case of going to Baku in the next stream and episode. So for the YouTube video, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we never encounter anything like the nature of the first part of the stream ever again. But for now, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to join the stream for the Baku Grand Prix, it's this afternoon. As you see this, it's tomorrow, those of you that are in the Twitch stream. So uh, do drop the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on any more uh, highlight packages. Of course, if you want to see the streams full, then there's a link in the description to the Twitch channel. And if you want to watch my FIFA content, then that is linked in the description as well to the Chestnut Gaming channel. But for now, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.